Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you all of the things, bracelets, keychains, wall hangings, etc. that I made in March of 2021. I am super pumped for this video, and I matched the wall, which is pretty cool, and the natural light is hitting me from fog, that's pretty cool. But you may notice I'm a little bit higher up, and that's because I'm using a tripod. Cool. Let me know what you think of this angle, I think it's pretty good. And after this video, I'm filming tutorials, like literally tutorials. So I'm gonna just hop right in. Okay, so I made a total of 12 things, one wall hanging, and I'll, I set them up all nicely. Yeah, so let's just start from the beginning. So number one was this lovely Lucky Charm set. I have been wanting to make this pattern, you can't really see it that great, for a very long time now, but I did not really enjoy it that much. I have to say, I liked the heart and the star. You can't even see the star, can you? Yeah, you can see it right there. But I did not enjoy making the rainbow at all. It's like two color switches, but still, I don't enjoy doing that. But I made this cute little set. And I, if you want an easy alpha that's like doesn't take very long, I highly recommend. It's like super cute. So make sure you go make that if you want to. The second thing I made this month was this smiley face alpha. You may know that I'm wanting to make a tutorial for this one. It's super bad because I don't think any of the creators would do it, but I know I would. Okay, anyways, um, this is such a cute bracelet. Um, the pattern is lovely. It literally just repeats the same smiley face over and over in the different colors. And it's super adorable. So I highly recommend this pattern. I don't really have much to say about it except that I kind of Oh yeah, it took me like two weeks to make because I got bored and I left it on my desk for like two weeks. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that is the smiley face alpha. The next thing that I made this month, numbers three and four, are these lovely thin Aztecs. This is a amazing variation which I heavily enjoyed. I want to make one for myself. Um, it's just basically brown, teal, and white and black. It looks so tribal, you know? Like, these are so cute. Oh my goodness, I need to make myself one, like, right now. I'll have to go do that soon because they're really awesome. So yeah, that's basically it for these awesome Aztecs. The fifth thing I made this month, and also my second favorite thing, is this Be Kind keychain. I love the neon, the colors that I used. Oh, there's... They look so good together, and I didn't have- okay, so the thing is, I'm actually, uh, fresh out of white thread, like, all out. Like, I have a little bit of some of that loops and threads, or craft cord white thread, but other than that, I'm literally 100% out, and I've been too lazy to order some. But I do have plenty of black thread, so I'm trying to incorporate more black thread into my keychains and bracelets. And I definitely think that this keychain- no, oh, it's upside down. Yep, is one of my favorite things, and I probably will make this pattern again in the future. So, yeah, and it's on Etsy as of right now. Number six is this little Gordian knot in silver. It is actually sparkly silver, so I don't know if you can see that, but I made it using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread found in the U USA. I found it at Joann's, I think, and yeah. I don't know if you can see the sparkles, which makes me mad, but this is actually the side that I knotted. And it took me like two hours, but the pattern is pretty simple. I know Mash Knots has a tutorial on it, and I think you all should go make this. And this thread, actually, the crochet thread I'm finding actually works out pretty well. So that's something new that I discovered while making this. And number seven is this little boba keychain. This is not on Etsy, I decided to keep it for myself. Um, I think it's pretty cute. I actually enjoyed it, but I didn't really want to put it on Etsy. I don't know, I just, I like it. I think it's really cute. You can't really see it, can you? But yeah, and I like boba. I just don't like the little, I don't like these little dots. What are they called? Jojo beads or something like that. I didn't really, I don't like the way they taste, but I do like the tea. Like, I think it tastes really good. So that was number seven. So number eight, I'm gonna have to insert a photo of this lovely mountain wall hanging. It was purchased on my Etsy, which is like my only sale for the month, but I miss her, but she's so beautiful and I'm glad somebody wanted this wall hanging. I, so the funny story about this wall hanging is it took me a week and a half. So it took me 10 days, kind of. Is that a week and a half? Yeah, not evenly, but it is basically, it took me 10 days. So the first day I started it on a Saturday, I think it was like the, 
I don't know what day, whatever, doesn't matter. It, I tied 1600 knots in one day, I spent like six hours on it, and then I just left it on the desk for a week and came back and finished it in two more days. So that was this wall hanging, and I really enjoyed it. I definitely want to make more wall hangings in the future, so I have two more patterns in my to-dos. I was gonna make it part of a knocking off my to-dos list video, but didn't really have time to film that. And I definitely want to make this pattern again, like definitely. So there we go. Or maybe not this one, but something similar. Definitely enjoyed that pattern. Number nine was this little spring alpha. So I made this without knowing what Mastronauts Challenge of the Month was, and then I found out it was spring, and I was like, yo, that thing is perfect for that. So I might have just tagged her in the photo and everything. You can't see it, but I also use sparkly white Aunt Lydia's crochet thread for the background and I just want you to be able to see the sparkle. It was like sparkle once on the camera. Come on, just sparkle once. Okay, it's obviously not gonna sparkle, but it says spring. Is that upside? It's, I'm holding it upside down. It says spring and I definitely enjoy the pattern. I just sat down and made it all in one day and I really like doing the shape start. Uh, yeah, that double shape start. I have a video on the shape start if you want to go watch that. The 10th thing that I made this month was just kind of out of the blue. It was this polka dotted chevron, very random. I don't really know why I made this, but I just saw some cute colors. I really, okay. So I have these awesome threads. Like I have some teal, I'll hold this up so you can see while I'm talking. I have some teal threads and some pink threads and that sparkly silver thread. And I need to find a pattern that I can incorporate them all into because it, it will look so beautiful. I just can't find a pattern that I'm happy with. You know, I don't want to waste these threads because they're really pretty, but I just used some other threads and made this bracelet. I like this color combo, this teal pink red. It's actually red right there. But I think this is like a, definitely a cute pattern and I like it a lot. I definitely recommend this one. Like, I had fun with it. It, did, it took me about two hours to make and I love this. This is like the beginner pattern. This is like spot on and I know Mash Not has a tutorial for this polka dotted chevron. And oh my goodness, the colors pop out on this camera so much and it matches my shirt. Okay, that was number two. Oh, say no. Is that eleven in Spanish? I think it is. I made this hibiscus flower keychain with some pink. Um, I definitely like making keychains. I love this pattern. I just basically made it in one sitting too, and I definitely recommend as a keychain. Hmm. I hope you guys like it. The back looks like this, but I like the front more because it's more colorful. Um, I definitely think this is a good keychain to make and I'll be right back. The twelfth and final thing that I made this month was this little rainbow- Whoa, that pops on this camera. This rainbow Aztec bracelet. This pattern is flippin' amazing. Like, I would definitely make this one again. Look at those colors, like... That thing just pops on camera. I'm sorry for the background noises. But I love this bracelet. I think it looks really pretty. Hold on, let me put oh it on. Oh my goodness, I love it. I might have to keep it for myself. or make another one for myself. Look at that. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll consider coming in for next time's video. Have a wonderful day and subscribe if you want to. See you guys.